Hey guys and welcome to Diabetic 365 to the educational session and today we have uh, Toby uh, who is a diabetic educator and also type 1 diabetic from past 40 years. She is going to educate us on alcohol and diabetes. Alcohol and diabetes have been a very interesting subject to many people with diabetes and today she is going to answer all the questions that we have. So Toby, uh, first getting started, I know there's a lot of people, uh, you know, like to at least party a week, once a week or, you know, once a month and uh, alcohol is something which is involved in every other party out there. So uh, this has been very interesting subject and also, um, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of questions come around, uh, around alcohol. So tell us before going into alcohol is good or bad, tell us what actually alcohol contains. Well, not all alcohol contains carbohydrate, but some does, and some is very low in carbohydrate, but that doesn't necessarily mean that if it doesn't have any carbohydrate, you could drink all that you want. Uh -huh. So can people with diabetes take alcohol? Yeah. They can't, you know, the, the way that we teach is that all foods, everything can fit in, but there are some specific things that you need to be watching out for and the message is the same for the whole population you know that we, we, we need to do it with uh, some parameters too you know we can't just say oh yeah everybody should be drinking but with because with diabetes there's a couple other things that we really have to pay attention to uh -huh. what are some of the things that you need to pay attention to when you're uh, you know uh, taking alcohol Okay, well, one of the things is, uh, well, really my number one tip is test, test, test. Test your blood sugars before, during, and after. Uh, because there's a couple things that happen when you're drinking alcohol. One thing is that you could bottom out with a low blood sugar. Mm -hmm. And the difficult part when you have diabetes, more so than when you don't, is that recognizing a low blood sugar. So if you're a little bit tipsy you say mm -hmm. and not not really in your wherewithal then it's harder to recognize low blood sugar and so that could be very very dangerous uh, so that's one one area that you have to be careful of the other thing is we have to think about excess calories too because especially with type 2 diabetes uh, being overweight or obese tends to be a problem and so with alcohol comes empty calories is what we call them Lots of calories and not a lot of nutrition. Exactly. This question is, um, what is the actual reason uh, for a low uh, blood glucose when, I, when we take alcohol? Mm -hmm. Some of it has to do with the medication that you're taking, you know, it, that it has a side effect of, of low blood sugar. The other thing that happens physiologically with um, alcohol is that you don't absorb the nutrients from whatever, even if you uh, ate something, it tends to block the nutrients, so you don't really get that absorption, so there's more tendency that you could become, have a low blood sugar. Yeah, okay. okay. So uh, the next question is, um, uh, you have been to Scotland, all the uh, distilleries and all this stuff, so how to choose a very good calorie free or a very good alcohol what is that I need to be looking into onto the bottle when I, uh, when, I when I see that alcohol um, bottle yeah well the whole thing is if you have a food label that's excellent because that's a, a tool to see what's inside of that food and it's like a window into the food uh, you want to look at the carb content mm -hmm. and so that's for drinking something that has the label on it, but then if it's a mixed drink, you need to look up what the carb content is, of that is before, probably before you go out, because they're not going to have it available at at exactly. the distillery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, the next question is, uh, um, how to stay safe when taking alcohol? Mm -hmm. Well, number one thing is testing your blood sugar and testing it much more often than you usually do. 
uh, so that you know where you're at because you could have a low blood sugar but you could also have a high blood sugar mm -hmm. depending on what type of beverage that you're having you know some of those mixed drinks like uh, the pina colada you know, it has a lot of extra carbohydrates in there and it could be up to 50 grams of carbohydrate for one pina colada. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one thing that the best thing to do is keep in tune with what your blood sugars are doing. It's also better, it's always recommended to, to have something to eat mm -hmm. before you drink um, to try and slow down that um, digestion process and the absorption of the alcohol. Oh. and um, also, let the people around you know that you have diabetes because of that unawareness. You know, if, if you aren't, like I said uh, earlier, you know, you, you're not really connecting. Your brain isn't really connecting. If you're under the influence, then how are you going to take care of your diabetes? So that's probably the scariest part mm -hmm. that you don't want to have too much of anything because of. Uh, you really need to know what's going on in order to take care of yourself fast and that's 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 very good point and uh, are there any kind of complications in long term of taking alcohol well the first one is alcoholism <laughs> you know, we definitely uh, need to be dr if we're drinking to drink in moderation and what the dietary um, guidelines recommend is that for men no more than two drinks per day, and for women, no more than one. So it's two or less, and or one or less. Mm -hmm. um, I I personally do not drink because I don't want to go through these different um, complications. Like why bring more trouble on that I already have with that, trying to manage my diabetes. Mm -hmm. uh, so one thing is possible alcoholism the other thing is weight gain because of the excess calories mm -hmm. uh, another thing is that with weight gain also high blood pressure can possibly start uh, and your triglycerides too can go up and if you already have high triglycerides um, the dietary recommendations are to avoid alcohol because it has such a direct cause and effect on raising your triglycerides so uh, also with weight gain, it makes it harder for you to manage your um, blood sugar levels. Blood sugar, and also it affects your, your cardio and also your uh, heart. Right. Do I need to stay away from alcohol if I'm having pre-existing complications or something like that? Yeah. I, I do see it as more trouble coming because it, it's harder to manage your, your diabetes when you start ingesting alcohol. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toby, for being on the show and sharing all your experiences um, on this subject, interesting subject, alcohol and diabetes. And you have a nice day. Thank you so much. Thank you.